knows all about germs. I'm kind of a germaphobe myself, and maybe you are too. So what I'm wondering is, well, how do we really properly wash our hands? We do it all the time, at least we should, but are we doing it right? Are we doing it well? Well, Dr. Marie, uh, Louise Marie Dembry of Yale New Haven Hospital, you're with us this morning. Thanks for coming in because, hey, we all have to do it, and uh, guess what? Uh, maybe we're not doing it right. So germs all around us, right? I probably have Absolutely. a lot of germs on my hands right now. Are clean hands uh, the answer to us keeping healthy? Well, clean hands are very important. We have to remember that we interact with our environment using our hands mm -hmm. and with other people. Sure. And the world around us isn't sterile. There are a lot of germs out there, and we have germs on our skin, germs in our body. We probably have more germs than we actually have other cells in our body. So hand washing or hand hygiene is very important, keeping our cells healthy. Now, it's okay to have germs on our body. We just don't want to have uh, be transmitting certain kinds of germs. So maybe... People just, some people don't know how to wash their hands properly. I'm going to try doing this with soap, and maybe you sure. can sort of uh, tell me how, how well, how good a job I'm doing. Now, this is just <laughs> has some water in it. We don't have running water here, but. Well, generally, um, you should start with running water. Yes. But well, if you're at a sink with a faucet, yeah. you want to turn on the water, and then you want to wet your hands. Mm -hmm. So I've got my you hands wet now. Do that now with that. Right. And then yep. you want to take the soap. Mm -hmm. And you want to rub it on all surfaces of your hands, between your fingers, your thumbs, etc., up to your wrist. And Sam's coming over here, which, which leads me to think that he's got some too. wise guy thing to do. <laughs> okay. I'm sure he I'm usually sure we, does anyway. Sorry, put it on so here. now this is kind of interesting and because it, what, one thing that do I do is I sort of do this to sort of make sure that I'm getting all because right. it's tough to get a piece of soap on all right. these little areas between our fingers. And then I do this. I also uh, have fairly short fingernails wanna, too. You want to do the do fingertips to, yeah, there, essentially. Because we, yeah. we keep a lot, of, uh, a lot of germs under our fingernails, don't we? That's right. So and you really want to cover... Well, if you can, you want to be able to use a brush once or twice a day, get mm -hmm. under your fingernails. But generally, this activity or this action is, is good enough. So you want to do that for 15 seconds. Okay. Some people say it's the time to sing happy birthday twice. I guess it depends how fast you sing. Yeah, really. And We're then you want to rinse your hands under running water, and you want to use... Sam? I'm, I was going to be the running water. Uh, you're you're going to be the running, running water. water. Yes, yeah. I'm going to be the running Rinse water. Rinse your hands, yes. and then we dry our hands with a towel, and usually then use the towel to turn on the turn off the faucet, which yeah, you know, no, won't that, be this, necessary right okay. now. Okay. Now here's an interesting thing, though, because we, when I'm leaving a, a restroom, especially a public one, I will use a paper towel in touching those surfaces after I've washed, including. So. How important is that to do? Because how many people are touching those, uh, the door, or the, the door handle, all those things? Well, if everybody washed their hands after they used the restroom, then wouldn't we necessary. wouldn't be necessary. But given that you don't know that, if you can, you use the paper towel that you use to dry your hands and turn off the faucet to open the door. What about those hand dryers? Now, so there's schools of thought about that. I mean, they say that they help prevent the spread of disease, but are they better or worse than paper towels? They're neither better nor worse. They're sometimes easier in some places to use. Um, sometimes people don't like them because they take a little bit longer and you have to stand there versus a paper towel where you can pat your hands dry. So it's to use whatever is available. Okay. Hand sanitizers. We've got a little stand here. We have these things kicking around here. Very handy. Or out of the uh, jar here. Are these good to use? Are they better than soap? They're not better than soap, but they're good to use, and they're good to use when you don't have water and soap available, or a sink, just as here. So in this case, it's the same action. You want to take about a dollop, put it in your hand. You want to rub it on all surfaces, all around, between your fingers, thumbs, up to the wrist. Do the tips, the fingertips, and you want to rub till it's dry, mm -hmm. and that's what's important. So sometimes people they rub and it's still wet, and they think that they're done. You want right. to rub till it has, and they do this. Hold it in front of the air conditioner. Exactly. I actually keep a little so thing. You want to the... just keep rubbing. You can walk away, do what you're going to do while you're still rubbing, and so that's what the important thing is: is to keep going. And the different products uh, take different drying times. Some are as short as about 15 seconds. Some take 30 seconds. Some even a little bit longer. I keep a little one of these guys in the side pocket of my car, so right. I can just do that. While I'm driving, if I need to eat something, while I'm, and then right. I hold it in front of the air conditioner. Well, you want you want to keep rubbing till it's evaporated and right dry. On. Now, uh, rubber gloves. How important are these to use, and when should we be using them? You really don't need to be using any kind of gloves outside of the healthcare setting, unless you're taking care of somebody who's ill or changing, say, wound dressings for somebody else. So they're really not necessary from the perspective of. Uh, pro uh, protecting yourself from germs. It's good because I'm having yeah, a horrible well, time. Well, they're hard to put on, on after yes. here. Especially when my hands are wet. <laughs> hey, Sam, there's a segment for you, buddy. All right, and uh, okay, so what about the things that uh, people are always a little bit afraid of? Toilet seats. But I've also heard that 
people say that toilet seats aren't nearly as dirty as some other surfaces. Well, that's Maybe. true, and on top of it, we need to remember that the way that we get germs into our body is it's not just that it gets on our skin, it's then we touch our eyes, our nose, our mouth, or we have a cut or a break in the skin. So a toilet seat, if, if it's got germs on it, it's not going to hurt you because your skin is normal. It's a barrier. It's a barrier. Yeah. That's a normal barrier to the world. So I think sometimes we have to be careful about what type of surfaces we're most concerned about. It's things that we have contact with our hands. And so I tell people, think about where your hands were last before you touch your face. Yeah. It's probably an important thing. And if you've been to the restroom, you didn't clean your hands, or you've been driving, or you went and pumped gas, or you were at the grocery store before you're going to touch your face, you should probably do hand washing. Whatever everybody, everybody touches, we are sharing. So Absolutely. yeah, good way to get rid of those. A uh, good idea to do so. Doctor, thank you for so much for coming in today. I'll clean up this mess okay. that I've just made by cleaning. Uh, all right. And for more information, you can always go to uh, WTNH.com, click the, uh, the on-air tab, and uh, pull down to the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section. Coming up, you won't believe how some FedEx delivery guys were trading packages. All caught on video when we come back.